Hi. How are you, my people? How are you today? God bless you. Hope you are doing well. I pray that the grace and the love of God will continue to be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. By God's grace and by the help of the Holy Spirit, God's message for us today is no cross, no victory. Amen. No cross, no victory. Praise the Lord. Now, we are going to read from Luke 9, 23. Luke 9, 23 says, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross daily and follow me. Praise the Lord. So, if you are out there, a believer, you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, are you following Jesus Christ? Are you denying yourself daily and carrying your cross and following him in obedience? It is important because without the cross, there's no victory. Praise the Lord. John 8, 31 to 32 says, And Jesus sold, uh, then Jesus said to the disciples, to the Jews that believed in him, if ye continue in my word, ye are my disciples indeed. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Praise the Lord. If you continue in my word, if you abide in my word, if you live in my word, that's the meaning of abide. When the Bible says continue, in some verses it says abide, in some verses it said continue. It means to live, to abide. Praise the Lord. So are you living in the word of God? If you are doing so, you are indeed a disciple of Jesus. Then you will know the truth. And that truth will make you free. And you will have victory. So many times in Revelation, Jesus was telling the seven churches, he that overcomes, I will give the crown of life. He that overcomes, I will not blot out his name out of my um, the book of life. He that overcomes, I will, I will, uh, it will reign with me. I will give him this, I will give him that. So many promises for those who overcome. Praise the Lord. How do we overcome? In Revelation, the Bible said they overcame him. They overcame the dragon. By the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Because they do not love their lives unto death. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So by the blood of Jesus Christ, when you receive forgiveness of sin through faith in Christ Jesus, your sins are forgiven. The blood of Jesus washes away your sins. So the victory of the cross... Through the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ, he gave us victory over the devil, over Satan, over uh, sin, over worldliness. Yes, it gives it, it gave us uh, victory over um, sinful nature. Praise the Lord, and that's why we can claim that victory of the cross and walk in holiness. Walk in obedience, following Jesus every day, bind the devil, cast out demons, you know, receive our healing, walk in victorious. We are not afraid of the devil in the name of Jesus. In that victory of the cross, through the blood of Jesus, Jesus has given us authority and power to tread upon serpent and scorpion and over all the powers of the enemies, and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Praise the Lord. Are you living a victorious life? Because a crossless life is a life of crisis. Yes. A, a, a crossless life is, is going to burn out. Yes. It's a life that is heading towards hell. Any Christian that is not 
carrying his cross daily and following Jesus is going on the broad way. And that's going to lead to destruction. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we need to carry our cross daily. That is where the victory is. Are you walking in sin? Living in pleasure of flesh and, and um, sin? Are you living in worldliness? Is sin having dominion over you? Then you need to go back to your cross. Go back to Jesus and take the cross and begin to live for Jesus. Begin to follow Jesus. Praise the Lord. Jesus won the victory over the devil when he shed his blood on the cross. His precious blood. Sinless blood. And he gave us victory over principalities and powers on the cross. Yes, he overcame for us. So he has also given us that power in his name when we come to faith in Christ, in him. Praise the Lord. He destroyed the power of sin. He destroyed the, the sting of death. He triumphed over the grave. He rose from the dead victorious. Amen. Christ crucified. That is the power of the, of the gospel. The, 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 the cross is the power of the gospel. The cross is the central message of the gospel. Praise the Lord. The Bible says the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Yes. For those who believe his death and resurrection give us salvation, give us victory over sin, over devil, over the world, over all the powers of hell. And gives us the power to be able to walk the narrow way heading to life eternal life so we have eternal life through faith in christ jesus praise the lord through the power of the cross we have forgiveness forgiveness through his precious blood and we can now be called children of god holy people of god we have eternal life and we have glorious inheritance in Heaven forever with God. That's what the cross has brought to us. Yes. Are you living a victorious life? Are you abiding in the word of God? Are you carrying your cross daily and following Jesus? If not, you need to go back to the cross. Go back to Jesus. In Revelation 3, Jesus was rebuking the church um, of laudations, the lukewarm church. He said, you are neither hot nor cold. Now, he told them in verse 19, Revelation 3, 19, he says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come to him and dine with him. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne. As I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. See? Jesus has overcame for us. So he's given us the power and authority. He's given us the cross to carry daily as we deny ourselves following Jesus in obedience. Praise the Lord. Here the church, they are lukewarm. And Jesus is telling them. I, you know, I was wondering, why is Jesus standing at the door of their heart again? Because they have left their first love. They are no longer um, no, carrying their cross. They are lukewarm. So the Spirit has you know, left them. Praise the Lord. So Jesus is giving them another chance, rebuking them. I stand at the door and I knock. So my brothers and sisters, the Lord is rebuking us. The Lord is challenging us. Are you carrying your cross daily? If not, you need to go back to the Lord. And begin to de deny yourself, carry your cross daily. Without the cross, there's no victory. 
the cross of Jesus Christ gives us power over sin, over um, pleasures of, of the flesh, over worldliness. It helps us to, to walk in righteousness, to be able to suffer for our faith because the cross is not pleasant. Jesus was in pain on the cross. He was, he was um, nailed to the cross. He was being um, scorned. He was being bullied. He, 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 went so, he, he went through so many pains and scorning. So as we carry our cross, there's going to be a lot of persecution. Are we ready? The cross, the power of the cross of Jesus Christ will help us to endure as we obey him, as we follow Jesus Christ. Yes, the power, the victory that Jesus has given us will help us as we carry our cross, as we endure the cross, the pain, the suffering. We must obey Jesus Christ. Deny yourself daily. Take up your cross. In prayer, in studying the, the word of God, in loving your neighbors as yourself and loving your enemies too. Praise the Lord. In preaching the gospel as part of the, the cross you have to carry. In standing for righteousness, for, 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 for your faith. People will scorn you. What's your horn? Are you the only one? Sister Mary, the only holy spiritual one. They will. They will, they will not like you. Said the people of the, this world, they love darkness. They love wickedness. So when you are trying to, to live a righteous life, they're going to scorn you. They're going to call you names. They're going to go through a lot of persecution. You will suffer for the cross of Jesus Christ you are carrying. Praise the Lord. But we should not relent. There is victory in that cross. And we're going to exchange it someday for a crown. Jesus says only those who overcome will sit with him on his throne. I pray the Lord will give us the grace to overcome. Amen. The grace to live a victorious life, to deny ourselves, take up our cross daily, and follow Jesus in obedience. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Paraventure, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. Jesus is calling you. He said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man opens to me, I will come in and sup with him. Open your heart. Ask Jesus to forgive your sins. He loves you. God bless you.